On the 21st of October, before the rising sun, we pour the line for action, me boys, at 12 o'clock begun. Brave Nelson to his men did say, The Lord will prosper us this day, give them the broadside, fire away on board a man of war. Hello, I'm James Fagan, and I'm just sharing some memories today about Hartlepool Folk Festival because it's one of the things I'm missing this year very, very much, and I'm sure you are as well. Hartlepool happens at the end of October. Uh, in fact, I often seem to be there on the 21st of October looking at the old Trincomalee and imagining old Nelson at the Battle of Trafalgar, which is what this song is all about. On board a man of war. So every year, well most years, I think we haven't missed many since Hartlepool Folk Festival began, Nancy and I and the kids have made our way up to the Naval Museum in Hartlepool and stood in wonder at the old Trincomalee and then gradually started to see our friends and uh, people who we've been seeing at gigs around the country for many, many years, travelling from all over the UK to be at this fantastic folk festival organised by Joan Crump and Johnny Moen and their great team. The kids love coming to Hartlepool. Uh, A lot of the festivals we take them to, uh, you know, they do what they can for children, but... The setting of Hartlepool Festival uh, is is so spectacular and uh, the kids just absolutely love it every time we go. And there's a cinema as well and a KFC, although we try not to go to that quite so much. Only because that bit looks like Milton Keynes. We prefer the old part of the town. Nothing wrong with Milton Keynes. Moving swiftly along. So many, so many memories of a festival. In fact, it's amazing to think that the festival hasn't been going all that long and yet some of my most memorable experiences in folk festivals have happened at Hartlepool Folk Festival. Just some personal highlights have been, well, Bagpuss last year, obviously. Bagpuss with the creator of the music uh, and the two creators of the music, the two creators of the music, Sandra Kerr and John Faulkner. Uh, reunited by Hartlepool Folk Festival uh, to do um, a show with Nancy and myself, uh, which happened in the Borough Hall, a very big venue to do a a very intimate show about a sacky old cloth cat. Um, so let's remind ourselves of Bagpuss. Guys, come on, we got to get this video rolling ahead. Three, two, one. A friend of mine, a porcupine, went up in a balloon. He sailed it here, he sailed it there, he sailed it nearly everywhere, except perhaps the moon. He sailed with ease across the seas, an inch above the waves. And only choked at getting soaked At which an ancient codfish croaked How nicely he behaves He sailed it hot above a lot Of scorching desert sand He sailed it cold as I've been told Where crowds of happy penguins hold their flippers hand in hand. He sailed it high beyond the sky, and then I must explain. A spiky spine, a porcupine, popped his balloon so proud and fine, and brought it down again. I love Hartlepool Festival! <laughs> There's something about the fact that Hartlepool Folk Festival happens at the end of autumn. Um, 
Everyone needs a bit of a boost at that time of year and we've all had our festival season and the summer's gone and we're all looking down the barrel of winter and Hartlepool Folk Festival happens at at that cusp for me and that's what makes it so important and so special uh, because it reminds us uh, of what we can do when we're not having our warm, hot summers, which is to get together and sing. Um, And so, yeah, it's really missing this year. uh, COVID has put such a a dampener on events. So it's really important to remember what we love about festivals like Hartlepool, and it's really important to remember what we love about getting together and singing so that we can not forget uh, how to do it when we can again. Another highlight for all of us here in Sheffield, uh, myself, Nancy, Richard and Jess Arrowsmith, uh, is singing with the festival patrons, the Wilsons. It's an unbelievable thing to stand anywhere near those guys when they're in full voice. Um, So the idea of putting the nine voices together and forming uh, one of the North East's only folk nerf tets uh, to steal a word from a mighty wind the Melsons, uh, you know, what could be better than standing next to those people, belting out classics like Close the Coal House Door. Um, one of the loveliest things we've done at Hartlepool was singing for Roy Bailey when Roy couldn't attend Hartlepool Folk Festival and then shortly thereafter in 2018 sadly passed away and uh, singing songs for Roy, songs that Roy had brought to his fans on a year when Roy was supposed to appear at the festival with the Wilsons and Melrose Quartet was uh, uh, spine-tinglingly good and um, I think of Roy at this time of year anyway uh, it was his birthday in October so he was usually should be should have been celebrating uh, each year so we miss Roy and I think of him when I think of Hartlepool Festival as well Another very special thing about Hartlepool are the themed concerts that Joan and Johnny have organised over the years, uh, from the Durham Miners through to the songs of Graham Graham Miles uh, and everything in between. Uh, The the concert is always very special and artists absolutely love to be invited to take part in these themed concerts. Uh, My favourite one that we've been involved in was the Graham Miles concert. Uh, it was one of Vin Garbett's last festival performances as well that year and a, a, an amazing thing to be part of, to, to stand uh, with those people. Uh, you know, singing the songs of Teesside uh, was really, really amazing and um, I'm very grateful to Joan and Johnny for the work that they put in on those themed concerts. Uh, that they're, they're really special. Jim Moray's Never Mind the Band Dogs, uh, a great quiz, is always super, super fun. Um, I'll never forget uh, doing that with Nancy and Sandra uh, and acting out the names of folk songs was, was particularly good. Nick Hart told a great story about Richard Branson in the Am I Telling the Truth? You never know with Nick. He's a, a consummate actor and uh, I got it wrong because I was pretty sure Nick had told a true story. It was true about Richard Branson, I believe. When I was only nine or ten I found myself at sea I can't remember where or when Or how it came to be for I wasn't even four foot then Though now I'm four foot three And I am a powder monkey on The old drink homily Of being. Take yourself and look inside When you find out what the truth is Do you run away and hide Or do you cover over all the cracks And try and be the same 
As the liar standing near to you A man or so we claim Something I'll never forget about Hartley Paul was the year that Joan Crump asked me and Gina Lafoe to recreate an interview that I had done with Gina on Thank Goodness It's Folk in Sheffield. Uh, Joan had been listening to that program and it was a, a very big occasion for Gina because in that interview Gina talked openly about being transgender uh, and it was the first time really that uh, Gina had felt able to talk uh, on in an open way uh, to a folk audience uh, about what it had been like for her over the 20 or more years um, since her transition. Uh, It was a a very personal interview, something I was uh, extremely happy to be involved in. And so to be asked to recreate it in the uh, in the old Trincomalee with Gina live uh, in front of an audience uh, was very moving. And um, yeah, that's that's an example of the kind of radical programming that Joan specialises in and it was a really, really lovely thing to do with Gina Lafoe and I hope we get to do something like that again on the very same ship. So thank you to Joan and to Johnny and to Hartlepool Folk Festival uh, and everyone who has attended over the years. Uh, Here's to the future of the festival, here's to the future of folk songs and here's to the future of our friendships that we've forged with each other over these years. Uh, We all wish Joan the very best with her treatment over the next few months uh, and we can't wait to be with her and her friends and family again uh, up on the headland at Hartlepool or down at the docks singing, drinking and making merry as it should be Hartlepool will live forever See how the season is starting something the swift thing of a summer